seven years ago, if I'd said to you, how long is this thing going to take you to say, well, certainly not that long? It's taken... Everyone says it's taken far too long and everyone's disappointed. But, I mean, it really is the House of Commons' responsibility, this, because uh, we set it up, we gave it a very broad remit, we didn't set it uh, a, time, a time deadline. There will be lessons to learn, as we've learned from other inquiries that have gone on and on and on. Uh, it would be very sensible to set a short timeline. If you want a short inquiry, set a short timeline. Well, could we have had a short inquiry in, in, into a war in which 180 soldiers died, in which uh, 4 million people were displaced and 100,000 Iraqis died? Well, the, the time scale is in order. I mean, seven years for an inquiry. But, of course, you know, Bernard said we. I mean, uh, you know, I moved a, a motion for a parliamentary inquiry for an impeachment process first and then for a parliamentary inquiry, which actually I think Bernard voted for, if I remember yeah. correctly. And it was only defeated wow. by, by some 20 votes. You wanted to impeach Mr Blair? I, I wanted to impeach Mr Blair, but after that we moved for a parliamentary process for inquiry. For I didn't a a judge-led inquiry would probably have been quicker as well. Mm. Uh, so they went for the inquiry which uh, would uh, proceed at the most pedestrian pace. But, you know, that doesn't stop the, the agony and the, the huge disappointment and uncertainty for the, the 179 service mm. people's families uh, who should be uppermost in our minds. Did you blame Chilcott himself? I, I, think, I think we'd have to know more about why it's taken so long. I mean, there are arguments, both about the maximisation process, where people get the chance to, to rebut, but also a lot of uh, suggestions that the civil service did not move quickly, for example, and given clearance on a correspondence between the American authorities and, uh, and the UK authorities. We have to know more about that. Uh, and certainly, albeit... It sounds like we're going to have to have an inquiry into the inquiry. No, I mean, may well do that. I'll I'll really? Oh, oh yes. That, that's, oh, come on, give us that, strength. That's well, Bernard's job, but uh, I, I think what we should I'm have fair. is... You, 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 you go ahead. You just well, said well, that. Um, uh, That'll uh, be your committee, good well, heavens. Um, we did an inquiry... My committee in the Parliament under Tony Wright, when he was chairman of this committee, did a, an inquiry into inquiries, and one of the outcomes was the Iraq inquiry. Um, uh, there are going to be lessons to learn about recent do, inquiries. Do you blame Chilcott? Um, I don't personally blame Chilcott, and I think some of the criticism of Chilcott's gone too far, and one or two of the people who might be criticised in the report, for them to use their knowledge of the report to mm. do pre buttles or to attack Sir John Chilcott, I think is could, really could, outrageous. Could I just put something to both of you? I mean, they're just beginning to look at a little bit as if this is the good old British system at work, and it's well, spun uh, the thing out. Well, that it's is why incredibly long, and, and now it's going to be two million words. Well, uh, if, um, the, the first uh, motion before the House of Commons was, in fact, an opposition motion with my name on it, um, uh, in, uh, quite soon after the invasion, um, and that was for a full statutory inquiry. It wouldn't have been this Privy Councillor's inquiry, which is rather a chum's inquiry. It would have been for a statutory inquiry, and that means the witnesses wouldn't, would have been on oath. Uh, it wouldn't have been able to criticise the inquiry. That would have been, have been a contempt and all that sort of stuff, and, it would, and we should have set a time deadline. Is it going to be a chum's outcome? Well, I certainly hope not. I mean, uh, two million words, 100,000 dead. You're hoping that one of the reasons for the delay is that this might be an inquiry which allocates responsibility. So in addition to trying to understand why it's taken so long, what I'd like to know is what, what is the bar on further action? What allocation of responsibility does there have to be before other action, judicial action, could be taken against individual or individuals who are pinpointed well, by this I inquiry? Who's going to read I, two million words to find out? Well, <laughs> I, I think, I think in, the, in the sense of things, that's the least of our problems, John. I don't think it'll take seven years to read two million words. And it's the phrases and the allocation of responsibility. People want to know why, and they want to know who. Well, well, if, if people are looking for this inquiry simply in order to find ammunition, in order to allocate blame, then we're not going to learn very much. And if what we need, if I let you speak, yeah. please let me speak. What we need is an inquiry which is genuinely going to help us learn about why the machinery of government almost broke down in the way it did in the run-up to the war, in the post-war planning, after the invasion, the inability to grapple with these strategic you know, problems and on the ground. People are going to say, we didn't prosecute bankers. Yeah. Um, we're well, not going to prosecute anybody for taking us to war. You make the point for me. Unless you have the allocation of responsibility, then what you get is a repetition of mistakes in Syria or elsewhere.